He was a great throwing arm when he was with Cleveland. Yes, but, you know, injuries and everything has goes. gone down. Good throw in time. Gomez erased by Jan Gomes. Well, now we'll see. They're, they're going to take a quick look and see if they felt he might have been in there, although the tag looked at it was around the thigh area before he gets there. Now, isn't there a time limit on here? He had a pretty good jump, but it's a fastball on the inside part of the plate, and there's the tag. You don't know if his hand gets in there or not, but uh, are we going to get the challenge or not? I think we are. See, from that angle, it looks like he gets him before the hand gets in, but it's awfully tough to tell. Again, the visual evidence has to be clear and decisive. And as you said, Rick, I just don't know that there would be enough to overturn that call. Certainly was a very close play, but a good throw by Gomes and a great job by Lindor to apply the quick tag. And the crew chief, Mike Winters, is behind the plate. Well, there's a different look. And here comes the tag, and there is the hand. And I'm going to say that was awfully close, but he was called out. So I don't know if there's any proof that from the two angles that we were ha happy to see if he, they could call him out. The umpire's on the field don't get much communication if any from the guys who are looking at it they'll just keep the headphones on until they tell them safer out it's not like they get to, to exactly. be involved in the conversation or anything with the guys who are making the decision back in replay command which may explain why mike winters has chosen not to even put the headsets on do we have a decision? We do. He's out. So that's out number one of the inning. And that's a costly challenge for Bannister. Yeah, because, you know, there wasn't enough evidence to overturn it, so the call stands.